Hello, everybody. This is your girl. Uh, listen, I'm listening to, and I told you guys I was going through my research on Mother Estella Boy and Mother Gertrude Stat. And anybody who was a spiritual daughter or son of theirs, um, I noticed one thing, that they are old-time church, and a lot of people back in the days taught like they taught, uh, would have somebody read the scripture and they expound why they why they're reading the scripture, you know, they'll read something and then they'll expound on it. Or or you know, like she's reading about the virtuous woman. So when she talks about how she uh, sells fine linen and all of that, she sells fine linen. You know, she don't eat from idol she don't eat the bread of idols. She don't eat idol bread. You know. Every once in a while she'll holler while she's preaching. Now, I have come across something very interesting. Now, I know that she had mentioned, I shared a video, that she had raised the dead. She didn't say that by the power of the Holy Ghost, the dead was raised. That God had used her to raise the dead. Nothing like that. It was just, I have raised the dead many times. And we know why the Bible has said recently that she had adhered to raising the dead because her father did it, her grandfather did it. And so it was an inheritance to raise the dead. So we know that the only person who raised the dead was Jesus. Okay? Uh, you could pray them back to life by is really by the power of God that works through you. Not you alone. It's really the power of God that raised them up from the dead. Uh, but I was listening to this, and it sounded like Mother had said that I want to be the best whore. If now listen carefully, because I was I was trying to rewind this back, and then read it, Proverbs thirty one, I believe that is where where it talks about the virtuous woman. Okay, so hold on for a second. Favor is deceitful. 
beauty is fame. Beauty is fame. fame. But a woman that feareth the Lord, come on now. She Let's listen. 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 You're not running away with a bed. More brick. Don't run away with a bed or brick. Come on, sister. She making fun of it. She showed. I was out of chase today. Oh, you with us. Stand up. The Lord with us is what people got in. I said, that man, she's going to be there. Yeah. If you're a widow, you... I said, there ain't no widows, they quit us. My husband or wife died. A widow means that your know, spouse died and, and now you're a woman. There ain't no widow. What did he say, quit? She making, she making fine linen Listen. and sell it there and deliver the girdles unto the merchant. Listen. Shrink. Her clothes. Listen. And she shall rejoice in time to come. Listen. She openeth her mouth with wisdom. Listen. Listen. Oh. And in her tongue is in the law. law. She looketh well to the ways of her house. Listen. Listen. And eateth not the bread of idols. She don't eat out bread. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Listen. Her husband also, and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously. I want to be the best one. But thou excellest them all. <laughs> Favor is deceitful. Oh, listen. And beauty. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I, I, it sounds like she said, I want to be the best whore. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, now, I understand that, you know, you're supposed to be a lady in the street and a freak in the sheets. When you are married. Uh, 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 a whore is somebody that sleeps around. Whether they get paid or not, they sleep around with different people. That's, or somebody that go from church to church. Or, you know, they don't have no stability in their life. Um, huh? Because even God had told the, the, the Israelites, you go whoring after other gods. In other words, to sit up there and be trying to serve God, but you run over there and serve whatever God the other people are serving. You know, you don't know if you're a Christian, Buddha, or Hindu. That's that that's could be a whore as well. Now, they read about the, virtu the virtuous woman, and they just talked about this lady's husband. And then when it came to the daughter, she said, I want to be the best whore. And I don't think anybody in that church caught that. And again, <laughs> you know, I don't have no rebuke. This lady is dead and gone, been dead since 2002. Uh, this was the spiritual mother of Juanita Biden, Gertrude Stats, um, uh, Mother Dupree. And we talked about Mother Dupree on YouTube. Uh, mother Dupree got up there talking about how the spirit of virtue stats visit her. Uh, the lady was dead and gone. And Mother Stats visit Mother Dupree after she had prayed. I wonder what type of prayer was that. And to let her know that it was okay. Okay, now, now you pray to God. You pray to the Lord that morning. The Lord didn't tell you or put in your spirit that it was going to be okay. And a familiar spirit came and visited you just to tell you it was going to be okay. Hmm, something strange with that. But okay, so they have raised the dead, and other spiritual sons and daughters probably is going around saying this as well. We know that Juanita Bynum mentioned that she had raised the, raised the dead, and if you didn't hear her say it in one of her, um, while she was preaching, you could go and see when she rebukes a person called Linda Wilson, and said, lady, have you raised the dead? Because I have, I have. Oh, goodness. You, you got to love it. It's like Steve Harvey said, you know, nothing about church is funny, but the people in church is definitely funny. And like she said, I want to be the best whore. I wouldn't want to be the best whore. I would want to be the best wife. 
and maybe somewhere that's Christian because um, Bishop George Bloomer has said that she was taking care of the virtuous one was taking care of the husband and his hoes. And I'm trying to see where was these hoes at? You know? Because that's, that was grounds for divorce. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. So, one more time for Mother Boy. And I want you to listen. Oh! Okay? Listen. Okay? And again, how the way they teach is the same way how people would teach you in the Church of God of Christ years ago. Uh, somebody has to read the scripture and they do just like Mother Boy and Mother Gertrude Stats have done. And say, oh, listen. If they say, they have many. Oh, a few. They have many. What did it say? Many. Or they say, oh, for God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. Listen. That he gave his only begotten son. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever. Oh! That whole, oh, so ever believe it. Damn. Uh, first, the reader be loud. Shall have everlasting life. Shall have everlasting life. Listen. This is how they, this is how they do. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. That he gave his own. Listen. Okay, so let's go back one more time for Mother Stella Boy. Okay, here we go. And I want you, I heard whore. What did y'all hear? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Come on, sister. She making fun of women. She showed, I was out of Texas, she said, oh, you with us. Stand up. There's more widows than what people got in. I said, that man should be dead. <laughs> I said, there ain't no widows, they quit us. <laughs> there ain't no widows. What did he say, quick? She making, she making fine linen yes, and sell it there. And deliver the girdles unto the merchant. Strengthen honor on her clothes. Listen. And she shall rejoice in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom. Listen, what you do. And in her tongue is it's the law, law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household. Listen. And eateth not the bread of idols. She don't eat out bread. Her children arise up. And call her blessed. Listen. Her husband also, and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuous. I want to be the best woman. But thou <laughs> sellest them all. I got a favor is deceitful. Listen. Y'all tell me what y'all heard. 